Back here, the recent death of a Sheboygan County child strangled by window cords is an unfortunate reminder about the hazards window covering cords pose. Our Tatiana Cash has more on how dangerous some blinds can be and what families should do to prevent any accidents. Tatiana. That's right, Katie. Now, according to the United States Consumer Product Safety Commission, nearly 12 children a year die from strangulation or entanglement in window cover covering cords. Andy High is a father of four. All of his kids are under the age of seven. He heard about the tragedy in Sheboygan County and says he continuously tells his kids blinds are not a toy. You really don't think about it until the kid's playing with it and all of a sudden you're like, oh no, you shouldn't have that. To ensure their safety, High removed all the blinds from his front windows and tied up other cords around the house so the kids can't reach them. The Consumer Product Safety Commission finds nearly one child a month dies as a result of an accident involving the cords. And it's not just babies. Some children are as old as nine. And this is one of those hidden dangers that you may not think to look at. Safe Kids Southeast Wisconsin coordinator Lisa Clint Simpson says blinds are typically an overlooked danger, but it's easy and cheap enough to keep all kids safe. If you have those dangling cords, um, keep them out of reach, whether you use a, an item to wrap them up or replace them. Simpson says along with cord maintenance, furniture placement is key. Keeping chairs or cribs away from windows can greatly reduce the risk of injury. Now, the National Window Covering Safety Council found window blinds and shades are actually one of the top five hidden hazards in American homes. So it's best to put blind cord safety at the top of your child proofing checklist. Back yeah, to you. It is indeed. All right, thanks.